there you have it that's another great video from the player channel so now in this video guys I'm gonna take a few minutes a few minutes of my busy schedule to tell you a lot about game a lot about game I'm gonna share some experience and I hope and I hope that that would be that would be very very helpful for your development in the pickup game in the live game in the player game so again just be a player play the game of life so here it is today the today's topic of this video it is going to be it is hard <laughs> but you should not quit it is so hard but you should not quit the reality is that that it's hard and uh, I will give you uh, let's start with the numbers and the statistics for a super cool guy for a super cool pickup artist for the guy with the most experience in life even for player like me it is extremely hard and this is how hard it is you know if you are if you are semi good looking woman semi good looking woman which means like average or below average ugly it's a hundred million times easier <laughs> to accomplish the goal of having sex for example then then you no matter where you are in life and I will tell you for average average just means below beautiful it's like five four perfect three I love this perfect three fat nice cool looking woman ugly but with a nice character <laughs> for her it's so much easier to get late than the most experienced pickup artists in the world the biggest players in the world guys like me <laughs> I refer myself as a player and uh, even for a super top model guy top model means like those guys that goes in fashion shows and they're ripped and not only that they are going on fashion shows but they are also super ripped they take care of themselves they stay in the gym even they have social skills even for all these three groups players pickup artists game guys hot super cool and even business guys and status for them for all these three four type of men it's a hundred times more difficult than for a three and below woman so these are the statistics and I'm sorry that is like this but <laughs> but there's always but but it's a good thing as well because we on the other hand we gotta put some we gotta put some game you gotta put some game my friend I've gotta put some game so now let me tell you about uh, a few experiences I was not a player all my life but I used to hang out with the players when I was a kid when I was and I was always was fascinated by the players and that's what they would do they're gonna light a cigarette this was in the 80s <laughs> this was in the 80s they would let their cigarette and they're gonna look at me and other younger kids how we chase girls and these particular one of these players you know he was a good friend of mine he would always tell me Ivan you are very good you bring me these girls and then we're gonna talk <laughs> and I got better in my game by the age of 27 I had like already a couple of hundred numbers the number was around 700 women and that was like a big thing for me I was like kind of fascinated counting you know when you are young you have this like the, the book you start counting you try to impress yourself you try to get the higher number anyway so this guy was saying you know hey Ivan just bring the girls and we're gonna talk and what usually happened 
this guy was always getting the girl. So when I started, I start studying this guy, I start copying his behaviors and surprise, surprise, in a few years later, I found myself talking to another friend of mine who was a very good friend of mine. He was a business. I back then I had a business and I had like a bunch of restaurants and this guy had a bunch of shops. But he had no advantage over me because he was not, not a player. He was a nice guy. He knew how things works, but he was not good at it. And he always was suffering with women. And at that particular moment, one day I caught myself saying these words. And his name was Ivan too. So I told him, Ivan, you bring it to me. You bring it to me and I'm going to fuck them. And the guy was like, really like how can you do that that's not fair <laughs> so what was actually happening he was bringing them to my pizza place and I was getting the girls just because my friend Ivan my good friend Ivan he did not have the experience that's what also that was happening back then and also because he was a little bit chubby you know and maybe because of this chubbiness he did not have the confidence However, however, of all these great accomplishments that I told you <laughs> about myself, I can tell you guys, it's extremely difficult for a guy. But once you get the skills, once you get the skills, it will get easier and easier and easier. And when, then it's going to become natural for you. I wish you this point in your life, for you to be so natural, so you are naturally attracting the opposite sex and once you get there now <laughs> right now right now I'm about to hit 50 anywhere I go right now anywhere I go I still attract these women like magnet I'm not very beautiful I'm not like very ripped well say uh, I take care of myself okay I eat good food smoke a little cigarettes <laughs> you gotta get life and uh, of course it's a bad habit we know that anyway I still attract them like magnet yet yet to close it that's another level sometimes sometimes they are the one that initiate they try to gain me they try to talk to me even if they try to gain me even even if they want badly to hook up with me it is still a lot of work and this little work you know so-called a lot of work little work it's mostly in a essence not to do stupid shit not to do stupid shit even when they come to you on a golden platter even when they come to you because sometimes in your life that would happen even if you have zero experience in game even you know as like a little chance but that would happen let me tell you uh, another story like uh, three or four years ago I was uh, going in Duane Reed to buy some stuff and there was that drop gorgeous beautiful woman and I sense it I feel it she was in that situation she was looking at me she was behaving she was literally just about to tell me hey let's go and in my house not in my house in her house she was just about to invite me and I know this because I'm expert on that and I knew it and I knew it she was about uh, I think like 35 35 to 37 very beautiful but in that state she was in that state probably her boyfriend left her probably a drama or probably she just wanted to have sex so badly so she was looking at me she was like waiting for me to give her a sign and I did not <laughs> and I did not my friend even that was so easy so I hope this video makes sense I hope you want to learn and if you want to learn please subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel and you're gonna learn you will learn 
because life it's a learning process be a, a player play the game of life play the game of game play it correctly and you will never be on the losing side subscribe and one more thing hit the like button maybe the algorithm of YouTube will be favorable for me if you push that like button as well as well the most important thing if this doesn't make sense to you if this video doesn't make sense to you but it may make sense for some friend in need another guy that is in that situation and that perplexity of life and if he needs more skills hey click the share button and give him a gift thank you